Hey everyone, welcome back to the challenge sessions where Zach and I talk through some of the common challenges sales-driven organizations face in their go-to-market. This is episode three, and we're going to talk about why sales-driven businesses should think about their content creation and their social media presence as part of their sales operation and their sales funnel, as opposed to part of their marketing operation. What do you think, Zach? Yeah, so... The way customers are buying is changing rapidly. Uh, not only are buyer journeys and sales cycles lengthening, but the percentage of that sales cycle that is spent before anyone speaks to a salesperson is now up to 90%, meaning the buyer is going through the awareness, credibility, and consideration phase entirely on their own before they ever speak to a salesperson. They're really just speaking to a salesperson, but they're trying to get their last questions answered, right? And so your content and your social activity is doing all the work during that time, right? Buyers going to your website where your content is hosted, looking for signs of life. They're going to your social profiles where your content is distributed, looking for reasons why they can trust you. I think that last comment is the key. And the reason why I think the question of, are you helping the prospect trust you is important is because, look, the bottom line here is we want our all of our growth efforts, all of our go-to-market efforts to be more successful in terms of driving customers and driving revenue. And so I think that's the answer is why should you look at this stuff as sales and not as marketing is because if you look at it as sales, it will be more effective. And the reason it will be more effective comes down to the question of, well, what would a salesperson have done if they could have been there during that 50, 60, 80, 90% of the journey that's now happening without a salesperson being present? And what they would have been doing is establishing connection, building rapport, and building trust. And so as buyer journeys lengthen, as more of the journey happens before talking to sales, then you, of course, the lines are blurring. You can look at it as marketing, you can look at it as sales. But if you look at it as marketing, you really tend to anchor in like, how do we drive more interest? How do we drive more leads, more downloads, more uh, more demo bookings? Like this is the lens I think that you end up using. Whereas if you look at it as sales, then you anchor yourself in how do we build connection? How do we build trust? How do we offer value? And how do we help that stranger build trust in us so that they are willing to have a conversation. And I think when you use this lens, you end up making better materials, a better experience, better content, and a better overall experience for that stranger that's going through that journey before they talk to you so that they're more likely to want to talk to you. So that's the main reason I think is if you look at it through sale, through a lens of sales, it anchors you in building connection, building rapport and building trust. And that ends up being more effective for today's buyer. Could, I couldn't agree more. One final point there, which is that if you think of content as social activity as marketing, it also implies that the primary goal of that content and social activity is to drive inbound leads, and that's not its primary. That will happen, but the primary goal of content and social like we've described is to make your outbound sales efforts more effective at every stage of your pipeline, that's the real thing. Yeah, totally. So lines definitely blurring between marketing and sales as as the this big change happens in how buyers buy. Um, and I and I think it can be effective to view really any stage from both sides. You know, how how would we do this if we were thinking about it as a marketing effort? How would we do this if we were thinking of it as a sales effort? But I do think that if you want to improve effectiveness of your whole go-to-market motion for B2B, for any sales-driven organization, using that sales lens for that whole big part of the buyer journey that's happening before they start a conversation will improve performance of the whole, of the whole funnel. Yeah, completely agree.